What's going on you guys? Welcome to my YouTube channel. It's your boy Race Blaze. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how to texture differently and um, how to do a cape simulation. Like the problems I found and how to fix those problems. Now obviously if you look here, you see that we have, um, I did texture, this is the original Superman, you know, it's blue and all that. And I do have, you know, a very dark Superman. So again, I'm going for a different look, all right? And then the cape, I want to just change the cape color a little bit so let's do that real quick actually we can let's let's stay on the viewport rendering okay so I want to make the cape a little bit dark so I'm gonna come over here to the cape this is it right here I hope this is it though okay I see I see um, I'm just gonna duplicate let's let's duplicate this and then bring it here and we'll do dark cape now I'm going to delete this, then I'll bring this in. Okay, so now we're going to open up our node editor. Again, the, the what we want to do is to have a, a kind of a dark look. So I already have all the texture connected. I'm just going to drag in a, we can try a color correction first. Let's see how that works. So now um, we can sort of change the color a little bit now again I'm not looking for a different color what I want is you know like a gray sort of color because it's dark right you know what I mean now that looks good I think I'm just gonna bring in a light because I'm not seeing properly do I already have light here yes I do okay now we can see properly see how that looks anyways um let's increase the contracts yeah something like that what I'm gonna do here I'm just gonna increase ground light yep so now we can see it clearly that looks better yeah all right I think I'm gonna go with that I just increased the gra gamma, but it's too dark. Maybe just a little bit. No. Let's do a little bit. A little bit won't hurt, you know what I mean? Well, you know what, let's stick with the one. If I don't like it when I bring it to an environment, I'll change that. I'm going to save this. Okay, so what we want to do now is a clothes simulation. Now, obviously, I need to remove from this viewport. Um, what we need to do now is to get the cloth simulation right. Now, first thing you want to do is go under your cape, and then I'm just going to minimize that so I can have a better workflow. So I'm, I'm going to search on clothes, bring the cloth here, then search on cloth belt, do the same. So now we want to select points. I already have my points selected. Um, you guys can go ahead and do that. Basically, I'll just show you guys what you need to do. Um, let me just... Why did I hide the likes? I don't know. So what you need to do is to select the points from this tip. Like, what this means is that if you select this point, it's not going to move. It's just going to be stable. So again, that's what I want to do. And I feel like the cape should move around this area. That's how I feel. So I'm going for that. You guys understand it, right? Alright, so... After you're done, you've done that, all you need to do is go over here and then we want to attach that to our upper arms, like the chest area, you know. And then we're going to click on set. So you see this yellow stuff? If you don't want to show this yellow stuff, just remove the show. If you want to hide it, just do that. Okay, well, I'll, I'll keep it. So now when we play, we'll see this. Now I, I need to turn off this um, because what I did was I I have my collider. If your collider is on, it's gonna take like a lot of um, it's gonna take a lot of time to render out. Just keep in mind. So yeah. Okay, now this should be fast. Yep. So you see, as you can see, what's happening. Um, 
it's looking pretty let me show you guys on the renderer as you can see it's looking pretty good however um, I think that our setting point is just ridiculous look at that it's just really ridiculous all right so we need to fix that so I'm going to come over here ah, so difficult doing this So I'm going to come over here and then I'm going to clear this okay I'm going to drag this out first so let's reduce the our setting points so I feel like we don't need some some of it all right so um, I'm going to just have maybe from just this angle here uh, let's see Mm. Uh, let's go deeper <laughs> okay like the part where they don't have to move that's what I'm looking at and that will be sort of the shoulder area okay I'm just gonna drag this inside a little bit Okay, that's that's sort of better. I feel that's better now. Okay, let's let's go back here. And we want to set. Oh, we can't draw. It. Oh, my bad. Should be here. All right, yeah. So I want to go over here and set. All right. So that should fix that problem. Let's see. Yeah, that was much better. Yep. Yes, that's what I mean. Now with the collider, it's gonna be different, obviously. Now again, I found that um, you guys wanna test it with the collider, sure, why not? Let's test it out with the collider. Well, let's see so as you can see with the collider it's it's much wait what okay that's going through the legs yeah so I guess I have to bring this to the legs okay let's try that again I was just surprised so as you can see that uh, the stuff is like going down like I don't like what's going on with it really let me show you guys what I mean it's just not right so the easiest way to fix this is to go under the forces and the iteration I'm gonna move this to 10 let's try that again what that does it removes those you know weird movements Now for some reason it's still going through the the chest. Hmm. I'm surprised. Let's delete this and bring this again. Let's see cloth liner. Let's see that. Maybe it's the shadows. Okay, it's the shadows. I was wondering, is it going through? Okay. Yeah, because, yo, I was confused, right? You see, like, it's, like, there's a mesh going on here, right? Okay, you know what? Let's, let's, uh, actually, it's the sunshine that's the problem. Let's change the sunlight so that the shadow will be, okay, you know what? Let's. How about we do this? Yeah. So I don't want shadows to be confusing. Yep. 
Yep, something like that. Okay, now we can see clearly. All right, let's see what's going on. Because the shadows was was making it look weird, right? Ah, let's add a cloth collider. So yo, uh, that's basically how you're gonna achieve that. As you can see, that is moving wonderfully. That is basically how you accomplish a Superman cloak. Nice. So yeah. Um, that's basically how you do that. So my advice is basically if you're animating or you're working, just turn off your colliders because that will slow down your uh, your animation process. You don't want to have that, you know what I mean? Because if you do have that, it's going to be problematic. So just go ahead, slow that down. And yeah, you're going to have something like that. And later on, you can play around with the settings of the clothes. For example, you can have it, you know, move in the direction that you want it to move. Your choice. Just have fun experimenting with that. And I think I'm done. So I'm guessing even the other guy, I feel like I have to correct him too. <laughs> and I do have a different wind simulation for him too. Anyways, so um, that's it for this video. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time. Peace.